Have you ever felt like going home to family or to old friends that you are suddenly yourself 10, 20, 30 years ago, that it just feels so difficult or people expect you to be a certain way that you almost feel that way again and why it can be so uncomfortable? Why is going back home to family so difficult? So let's talk about that today and how you can mitigate that, how you can change that so you can have a better holiday this week or for any holiday coming up as it's becoming holiday season. I'd love to help you with this situation and explain it a little bit so you understand how it works. First thing I need to do is explain to you hexes, curses, spells, and jinx. Now, I'm not trying to say that your family's putting a curse on you, <laughs> but if you understand these things, then it's easy to understand what I'm going to talk about, how we hold people in a pattern. So let's talk about this first. So hexes, spells, curses, jinx, these are all things that people do intentionally or unintentionally, which we'll talk about. And let's start with spells. So spelling, spells, this is something you might do with intentional words the law of attraction and testimonials is like the good side of a spell. If you're trying to improve your life, change a habit, then you might use words since words are so powerful. And if you know anything about the law of attraction, you know how powerful it is. Everything you say is your reality, even if you just say it once. But if you say it more than once, then that becomes a spell because you are saying it so many times, those words are becoming your reality. So make sure you know what you're saying, that you hear what you're saying, because you are making your reality. And of course, I know most of you know this about law of attraction, but that's really what spells are. And of course, they can be very negative. People could put a spell on you by using words that are negative and you and trying to put that on you intentionally. You can also create spells with things like new moon manifestation, which is something that I never do. I don't work with the moon. And if you want to hear about that, I do have a YouTube video with Steve Nobel where we talk about the moon matrix. And all that's about is that I don't want to work with any kind of place that has a lot of negative systems attached to it. And even though we have beautiful histories of past lives working with beautiful moons that contain deities and helpers of the spiritual realm who helped us so much. And we have that in our DNA and our memories, even if we don't realize it. And so, of course, we want to connect to this moon. However, this moon is just a satellite and it doesn't contain any high vibrational being to keep it in a high vibrational state and instead is full of negative beings. And so I feel that that's not a great idea. I like to work with the sun. And if you want to hear more about that, you'll hear it in the podcast with Steve Nobel. But moving on, these are also other ways that you can do spells. Now, now that you understand spells, let's talk about hexes, curses, and jinx. So a jinx is a temporary sort of spell put on someone to cause misfortune. It's usually to teach them a lesson. And yes, you can do this unintentionally. If you said something like, I hope that person learns their lesson or karma come up for them or something like that, then you're unintentionally jinxing someone. Now, if you think about karma and people who have done bad things, you know, and everyone's kind of saying that, think about the lesson they are learning is going to be hard. And that's probably just something that they created for themselves. And I'm not feeling sorry for them, but jinxes in general, you could accidentally put into motion anytime. Now a hex is when you do the same thing, but it's, it's a little more powerful. You are causing misfortune on someone because either intentionally because you're trying to hurt them, which is not for the highest and greatest good of all. And I definitely don't recommend any of this. This is all working with dark magic and I don't recommend it at all. But if you were to curse someone and think bad things about them because they hurt you, you could unintentionally make a hex for someone. And if you're a Reiki master or you work with a lot of channeling, you could actually be channeling something dark for them and you don't want to do this. When it comes to karma, actually what I believe is just in the law of attraction. I believe that we are in this life to get off the karmic wheels. 